Hey guys, per usual, everything on this channel is educational information and not investment advice. So, gotta start off with the bear shark first. I put this on 4 hour mainly so I could put it on this series, but I'm pretty sure it's just best seen on 4 hour. You can certainly look at it on any time frame. Um, so, this is the idea. Talked about it for a few videos, a few days, and it happened I'm currently sitting on this fib certainly expecting it to go further and i'll go into why more in the video so bulls put on your earphones this is how it was traded it was punted pretty hard because i was on my phone and <laughs> i woke up i saw this drop i saw it bounce real fast so i put the stops at 11.99 and they all got hit so um, what I should have done is not trade on my phone and looked at a chart, and I shouldn't have put them all at 11.99. I should have left one open. This was 0.5, 1, and 0.5, the size. So yeah, I made 0.2 off this, but that's pitiful. There should have been a lot more profit on that. Such as trading on high leverage on your phone. That's why you don't do that. Okay, so first things first, bit stamp, 4 hour, currently looks like a bear flag. Now I have my bear lens on right now, so anything I'm going to see is going to be bearish. I just completed this amazing article for Brave New Coin, and like seriously, two hours on it. I'm like, yeah, I just talk myself up a lot, but it's a good article. In the article, I talk about the 15 minute time frame. I'm not going to show it here. On the 15 minute, you see a bunch of stuff that says it could be bullish. On the higher time frames, it doesn't look so bullish. Bear flag, currently. That's what it looks like. Again, you have a pole and a triangle. That's all you bear pennant, however you want to say that. So the support zone would be in here, definitely 1100 on Bitstamp, 1100 even, basically. Our sign still don't really help me out much here. We go to Heikinashi, see a few things here. So remember, we're in a bear trend, so we're expecting red candles here. Your stop could be above this candle currently. If you were still short, that's where my stop would be, 1192. Uh, and again, you'd be expecting this to break down further, make more and more red candles. This doesn't look like an entry, short entry to me at the moment, because we haven't had two consecutive red candles. And again, whenever you see this, especially with Hakanashi, Hearns calls it a doji party. But when you see those dojis, this means momentum is essentially zero. And if it's already been bought up like this, you got to think to yourself, is it going to continue up on zero momentum, or is it going to pull back on the bear div, which it was there, and uh, B bands, which were breaking down, immediately breaks out of the B bands, so the, the probability that it's going to reverse is minimal. Again, all these signals were pointing towards bear, 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 bear. I think it's going to keep going bear. Uh, B bands, it's below the 20 median right now. If we look at the 5200, you can see we're inside of the 5200 right now, so we sort of touched the 200, certainly not below it. Um, we may get another 5200 cross, who knows at this point, but uh, it just doesn't look like it's going to just shoot up from here to me. And that's those crosses, and let's turn on cloud here. So immediately you should think to yourself, there's a setup currently for an edge-to-edge -edge trade, and you'd be looking for a candle close within the cloud here, cloud support. So once candle closes within the cloud support, that says support has failed, and the next support would be the other edge of the cloud, which would be 1060, 1070, somewhere in here on stamp. And something else to look for on these edge-to-edge -edge trades is the TK cross. You really you want the TK cross to match the edge-to-edge -edge trade. So for instance, on this TK, on this edge-to-edge -edge trade, TK cross was bullish. You're saying to yourself, this edge-to-edge -edge trade is good to go. We're going up. I'm going to show you a dash edge-to-edge -edge trade that is not congruent with the TK cross. So we'll get to that. But so again, you're looking for a bearish TK cross, edge to edge trade, support 1060. Here's the pitchfork. And you can see that again, 1070, 1080, somewhere in here, strong support. It's also the 50% of this. So I'm really, you know, if you're banking on bids somewhere, put them here. That's where I'll be putting them. Let's move to Ethereum USD Tether. So if we look at this mess, you can see that uh, we're back at the median line of the pitchfork. This head and shoulders didn't break down. Candles don't really tell me much. Uh, what does cloud look like? This could be interpreted as a flag of some sort. It could be a higher time, a lower time frame, invert, uh, a lower time frame, head and shoulders. RSI doesn't really tell me much. Uh, if Stoke Cross is bullish and above the threshold that would be a long signal with all the cloud stuff flipping bullish so if cloud flips bullish everything else is already bullish tk lagging span 
prices above cloud. So a good long entry for Ethereum would be a uh, four hour Kumo twist. So that, that'd be something that's pretty actionable to look for. And now that doesn't mean I understand why people buy Ethereum at all, but you can certainly make money off of it. I can ashy here. It's another thing. Again, red candles, wait for the green candles for the entry. And the 5200 looks good. It's above the 50. It speaks of continuation over anything else. Similar to here. You know, it broke down and then got pulled back up. Broke down, got pulled back up. And if we look at the cloud here, cloud actually never twisted red. Uh, bearish, but uh, same principle. You know, it went in the cloud and then it went out of the cloud. Bullish TK cross. So again, you're waiting for this bullish TK cross, and if Bitcoin continues its bearish momentum, that certainly makes sense with uh, Ethereum pulling up here. Let's go to Dash now. Dash has had a bear flag, bear flag, huge wick. I talked about that last video. So this is all support in here. Anything below here, buy it up because it should be support over anything else. Currently, there's an Adam. Eve. It's pretty sloppy, but I think it's there. I talked about it in the last video as well. Uh, this possible Adam Eve that got cancelled, and then this, you know, this weirdness, like two shoulders and a head, that's not really anything. But uh, what's more important now is the cloud, which is showing the edge-to-edge -edge trade with the flat Kumo at this level 765. So, you're, what you're waiting on here is the TK cross. Now, I feel like when I initially looked at this, my colors were switched because it doesn't really make much sense that the Kijun would be below the Tenkin here. But, you know, this is a weird situation with this setup because usually it's, it's the other way around that the Tenkin and the Kijun are switched here. But I think because it's been ranging so much in this zone that uh, this crazy, not crazy, but unusual picture is set up for it. Uh, and this is also some sort of flag, possibly, here. And again, you can wait for Stoke to cross and come above the threshold here. That might be too late for the four hour, uh, but you can always look at this on a lower time frame. So I'm pretty bullish on alts, surprisingly, because I'm bearish on corn right now. So expect Bitcoin to, <laughs> Bitcoin, Bitcoin to continue down and uh, sadly expect Ethereum and Dash to pull up a little bit here. This is almost looking like coffee in with the, uh, the, I don't know the verbiage, but it just looks like white coffee here. You'd expect a spring over here, but point is, you know, we break this horizontal especially while it's in the cloud. Definitely expect this to go to here, for sure, for sure. Uh, the only part of trepidation I would have is the 5200 cross is currently bearish. So, you know, if all that stuff flips, if Stoke flips, 5200 flips, and TK flips, let me just write that out. Okay, 5200 bullish TK, break of a horizontal, which would be basically the 200 at this point, roughly here. So, not looking at much, 0.01, but on leverage, that's probably substantial. So that's really all I have today, and let me just shout out this other channel one more time, because he's basically doing what I'm doing, but in a different way, which I think is better than what me, actually. So <laughs> let me just find him real quick. So it's Coinspeak, he does videos every so often, basically on everything I do. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dash, Litecoin, so definitely check him out. I think the more people are exposed, the more people's TA, the better. So yeah, uh, hit me up on Twitter, Telegram, and happy trading.